Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Let's play some more EU4 as Great Britain. Going for Anglophile, and uh, we're making good progress here. I uh, want to remind you before we get into it to check out the Discord. Link's in the description down below, and if you're enjoying the series, to leave a like because it really helps us out. Also, I'm recording at a lower bit rate than what I usually do, so I want you to let me know how the quality looks, if it looks about what you normally see, or if you notice any sort of grittiness or anything special about it. So please let me know about that in the description or in the comments down below. But uh, let's get into it. So we are well on our way. We've been annexing him for like 20 years, <laughs> um, but we're going to get this, and that will help out a decent amount. Are we focusing? We are. Economy is doing well. The speed of succession in Pomerania. Would you marry me, bro? No, he will not marry me. That's fine. We are at war with uh, Flanders and... Oh my goodness, that's a thick looking Lorraine. Goodness gracious. Well, it is a conquest war, so we can give him... Oh wait, Lorraine is not a co-belligerent though, right? Okay, well that's fine. Let's actually come over here and see if we can piece him out then. Um... Or is this one... Let me see, where's my other armies at? Okay, so they're just on their way over now. See if you guys can come on over here. Right, we just finished up our... Um, the League War. The League War was just finished up, so... That'll be good. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna siege out... Or siege Lorraine out. Um, let us... Turn that one on to local defensiveness, so it takes him a little bit longer to siege that down. I do believe we have offensive and innovative. Yes, we do. And do we have the policy? We do. Um, I don't care about Portugal's opinion. All right, apparently I still didn't figure that out. So sorry if you hear some beeping like that. <laughs> that is people subscribing to the channel. So I uh, that is from yesterday's live stream. Cannot figure it out for the life of me. All right, so let's get you guys. Okay, get you guys over here in Barois. Lorraine, we will be piecing out as well as breaking all of his alliances. So, Alliance, Alliance, uh, Hainaut, I guess I don't care much about, Milan, I do care about, and Provence, I don't care about. So, I don't need his trade power, though. Keep that, keep the truce a little bit short, right? Let's also leave those men behind so we're not losing a bunch of manpower. We're already 12,000 in the hole, so let's actually get you guys off there. We're gonna need to go to war with Venice here soon. Poland would wait why do I have a truce with you oh the holy war right so he's his trade league would defend him <clears throat> right that is one thing about Venice that trade league is juicy um do a quick oh um yeah we'll just take that because then the next monthly tick we will be good as well as we're actually going to take all of Lorraine's cash so that's good you guys are an artillery stack so let's actually see let's get you guys over here get half here half here let's actually yeah we're just gonna get them combined up can take some monies so I will and we will build a couple more of those guys build a couple of I have a merchant so I should probably be transferring right I should totally be transferring from here um, we are collecting five over there so we're not collecting in Genoa. Hmm. We have to wait for him. We have a lot of trade power in a lot of places. So let's uh, do a little shuffle split on you guys. Very good. We can get you guys over here to Clavy. And get you guys up here to uh, Friesland. No manpower, remember. So ideally we're leaving our men hanging out real quick. Oh. 
little uh, five percent attrition tick right there with half my men. Very good. Um, so Lubeck is. Where is Lubeck? Didn't I just see he lost his? Did he die? Oh, Lubeck has been annexed. Maybe that's why I was. Yeah, he just got annexed by uh, Sax Lundberg. So we won Picardy. Very good. We won Clave. Clavis. I don't know. Force religion. Why not? And then uh, we'll siege down Utrecht. And Den Haag. I love the random attrition, drive by attrition ticks because I don't take enough time to like make sure that I'm good to go. Alright, let's get you guys out of here actually. Oh wait, no. I just have to uh, get them up here and then get them back down here. Do I need to have these guys mothballed? I probably shouldn't have my fleet mo constantly mothballed anymore. Let's actually just get you guys out there. They might be damaged, but they should be fine. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Let's actually get you guys over there. Do they need to upgrade? Yeah, they do. So let's just do that, actually. Let's uh, get you guys joined up and uh, stack wipe that little uh, rebel stack there. And get the infantry out of there. Uh, we will leave it be. And we will take that. That helps us out with that. So when's this going to be done? Does it say August 87? So in six, 17 years. Pretty good. <laughs> so Friesland is going to uh, give us their trade power. Um, we'll take the Diplo point loss, I suppose. I don't want the AE impact. As soon as we siege down uh, Utrecht and we can take hamster dance and then we are good to go Peace out the war uh, Nope, I will give you no such things Apparently we have extra I think we've stolen a couple of ships um, Let's also take hamster dance. Uh, I guess not Friesland you are gonna give us that and then lots of monies. Very good, sir Good good sir, and then you will come down here I guess we have to transport. Okay, um, and then Flanders will give me those two. As well as all of this, and I guess they're gonna make me take Den Haag real quick. Of course I don't take it. Come on baby, 78% chance, there we go. Very nice, so now we collect, connected up all of this land up here, so then we can go back to our trade power edict. And we can uh, core you up eventually. I'm working. That was weird. So that's a lot of admin points though. Let's get you guys, so they're all black flag now, so let's just get you guys over here. Get you guys down in Calais. Uh. I would rather not lose Malta, but I guess... No, I'm not going to give them. Why do my subjects keep on asking for stuff? <clears throat> I should probably improve his relationships. He does have defensive and quantity. Does he have good... He's got morale of armies. That's really it. Tech cost and morale of armies. Diplo or dev cost. I say maybe I can make him into a march, but it's probably not worth. Um, we're just working on getting a little more trade over there. I think maybe I do need to collect from here. How much am I sending from here? Two ducats a month. Is that worth? No, not really. Let's collect over from here and see what that does for us. 
Württemberg. OPM. Not interested. Um, and let's also make sure we have... We want that, and then we also want that. That will probably help down here, right? 505 up to what? Half a ducat a month? It'll add up. Some shipyards would be nice, I think. That way we can continue adding to our... Okay, so these guys need to all not be here. So let's get you guys all joined up together. And let's also get you guys who are just for some reason out here. Uh, let's get you all in London. And then you guys can, uh, well, whenever I have the money, <clears throat> we can get them all joined up together. So as far as missions go, it's the uh, still the dev that's holding us back. Uh, we do have this claim on you. Brabant would help. So I think we could just do this. Um, and France has permanent claims on all of this. So we'll take what we can. I'll definitely go with Anjou. The fact that Milan won't join is pretty clutch. So let's get you down here and he'll come back and siege up Brabant. Brabant is snaking like a crazy man. Get you guys blockaded over here. Yeah, they have no army. <clears throat> We're good. Truce with the Mamluks is over. They're probably going to join a coalition against me with the Ottomans. Oh, they can't. 49. 58. They could, but unless there's enough to trigger it, I don't think they will be able to. All right, so let's see here. Will you guys just peace out right now? They will not. Definitely gonna be worth doing these clicks with you guys. Um, just gonna have to siege down a couple of provinces, I suppose. Very good. Come up here. Wiped out his navy, very good. Even took one of his transports, I will take that. Let's get you guys repaired. I think they might have missed that tick, actually. Let's see if we can stack wipe his army here. Still have no manpower to speak of. So, Austria is Emperor, Emperator. I can't speak Latin. Okay, so we're gonna go a few days and have no casualties. Very strange. I would rather just kill him. There we go. Now he will peace out. Very good. And let's get you guys back up here to Calais. Where Picardy is fine, I suppose. Uh, now we're just going to siege him down. Cool. We are way ahead on this, so we can actually just barrage that, try to get out of the war ASAP. We are going to take Anjou for ourselves, and then we're probably going to give all this to France. But it's really going to depend on what our aggressive expansion looks like. What are you doing, you idiot? Coming down here to give me some aggressive... Give me some, uh... Attrition damage. So let's get that all to France, because he has claims on it, so it'll be cheaper for him to core. It's going to cost me Diplo instead by annexing, but... That's fine. So this AE is absolutely unacceptable. That is still unacceptable, still unacceptable, and less, but still okay. Um, yeah, man, Avignon. Okay, well, I guess we just break his alliances then. So Brabant, you can break that, and then we'll just keep our truce nice and short with you. Um, no, that's actually not true. We're going to take everything you have financially. So that's good. It's a nice dev province. So let's uh, do a little bit of that. So let's get you guys down here, actually. 
think we're gonna have to cool it on the wars for a little bit. So let's just speed five it and get that army down there to defend against the uh, Egyptian ar rebels. And we're just gonna turn those, turn the army off slightly and turn down those forts, but we will keep these two. Just in case they fire and I don't catch it. And we're just still working on getting stuff converted. Slowly but surely, our religious unity is definitely getting better. Are we converting anything? Doesn't look like we're actually converting anything. Huh. Bummer. So Switzerland wants some condottieri, but we cannot because our armies are too big. Too strong. Mediterranean Authority, so we just need Crete. And we can certainly take Crete, it's just gonna be waiting until that truce is up. <clears throat> I mean, all these little guys are gonna be fine, and we'll just separate peace Poland out as quickly as we can, and we'll be totally good. Uh, yeah, global trade, sounds nice, very good. Um, let's, speaking of that, let's get these guys stacked up. And we are still good to go, so let's build a couple more. And then we will put the rest into, so we're way over, but it's fine because we're going to put the rest of that money into that. Easy peasy, right? Aragon declared war on Provence. Hey, you have claims on that. Do they have permanent claims or something? Yeah, they must have permanent claims. Diplo relations, I think we're doing that because we're gonna rush that Diplo rep. <clears throat> Really rush that. I'm lucky in separatists. Okay, if we turn up the maintenance, we might be able to avoid them. Let's see if we can do it by not worrying about these guys, because there's no unrest up here. Oh, that's not true. Yeah, there's no unrest up there. So let's see here. And we can take some more money for free. And I will do that. We're gonna build up some more um, production buildings. <laughs> that was a good stutter. All right. Um, Parliament. Oh, we have our colonist as well. Tolerance is really good, but our, our religious unity is basically back to normal, so culture conversion costs would actually make it cheaper to expel minorities, but we're currently doing a diplo idea. So I think we just stick with this, and we will just stick with the navy commissions, army commissions, take size, navy, meritocracy, bribe them, placate clergy, um... Support populists, I suppose, and um... Army, damn man, gotta do so many of them, so many clicks. All right, yeah, we did this a while ago. So where, did I really just never send my colonist out? Ooh, that's a misplay if I've ever seen one. All right, so maybe we, where do we go next? Canada? Or do we just help help him colonize for a while until he's off the ground? I'm not so sure. I do need to start expelling the Irish, but... So Cuba, Caribus, or Caribus, or whatever. Maybe I'm going for Mexico. Or Colombia. Let's go for Colombia. Where's the dev down here? Are these both the uh, colonial region? It is. So let's send those guys. I think they're both tropical. So that's actually like not good, but whatever. <clears throat> so the Mimlucky and Separatists are still ticking up slowly but surely, but... And uh, Tunis is still raiding my coasts. So let's get you guys and have you hunt pri 
pirates in Genoa. Look at that. 24% in Genoa. It's pretty good. Very good. Still don't have absolutism. For some reason, I keep getting this game, this playthrough, and the Yuan campaign mixed to get mixed up together. So it's kind of funny. All right, so our king is dead, and we have William von Habsburg and an heir, George, a two four four. Very good. Uh, we still have positive stabs, so that's good. In fact, we are ahead of time, and I may invest in just. Um, Boosting it again. Just to prevent any rebels from happening. Um, I guess I'll take the base tax in Cartagena. And as soon as we get this, then this is gonna take off and we'll get it done in, you know, within a couple of years. Rhodes. Did you raid me? You son of a gun. I probably should get ready to go to war for Crete. When is their truce up with you? Uh, oh, 85. Plenty more time. Oh my gosh, are you joking? That's a joke, no, screw that. That is so stupid. Stupid event, stupid event. Right, I will marry you, Austria, just so you can try to get another von Habsburg. Um, Muscovy, huh? So we have, oh, we are gonna be so close to the British Empire. Monopolize the channel. Okay. Ship trade power. Okay, very good. Bremen is owned and controlled. So did I get claims on that then? I did, very good. So. That'll be a tough one. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'm curious as to what it would be like if I were to take like half of these guys and put them protecting trade in Genoa just to see what happens to my income so it's 54 4 up to what 57 okay so we're actually making a lot more down here. So that's good. And the more trade income we take is less trade income for our enemies. So that's the one you gotta remember, right? And where is our force limit at? We can take 10 more, so we will. And we're just waiting on stuff, honestly. I mean, there's not really a whole lot more to do. Most of this achievement is just going to be around taking, sniping little provinces off and um, seize Burgundy. So, truce with you is going to be up pretty soon. 81. We'll see. Just keep on focusing on that. Um, do I care if my heir dies? Not so much. I mean, he's a <clears throat> 10 point ruler, but maybe we can get a better one. Oh, well, it doesn't matter anyways. So the knights are raiding my coasts. <clears throat> that is uh, kind of annoying. I could attack him. Bohemia would help Ragusa Gotland. I could call Austria in, but for some reason, so who's his trade league? Bremen, Nuremberg, Memmingen, and Ferrara. <clears throat> I suppose this would be an easy way to annex Bremen and Hamburg. <clears throat> Maybe even in the same war, honestly. It'd be a ton of aggressive expansion, but might be something to think about. 
Well, we can think about that in the next one. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, please show your support and leave a like on the video. It helps a lot. If you want to see some more of this, you can subscribe. And if you uh, want to hop in the Discord, link is in the description down below. And with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. I want to give a big shout out to my super special patrons, Classified for Life, Minor Joe, and TM Raw. Thanks for your support, guys. I really, really appreciate you. And if you want to see some more of this series, it's linked in the top right corner there. And if you want to see a different one, you can check the one below that. And if you want to subscribe, if you haven't already, you can click the button with a little arrow pointing to it. And that's all I got. Catch you guys later.